When I say university, what do you think about? I bet you never think about administrative staff. I want you to think about, and I'm, hopefully if you watch this video, you'll have a much more nuanced understanding and why I actually appreciate them so much in terms of administrative staff at universities. And then as well is perhaps you'll think about that as a career choice or something that you're gonna get into. So we often think of front end staff or we think about the certain roles of different careers. So in a university, if I say university, you're gonna think of professor or teacher and you might think of students and that's the entire structure of what a university actually looks like. But I want you to take a step back and think about how big these organizations actually are. There's thousands and thousands of people that are not faculty members that are working at most major universities that are making sure that these things actually run. And the issue is, is that it's a very difficult thing to think about and it's a very difficult industry to explain what exactly is going on. The problem is we're creating ideas. That's the essential function of what a university actually does is create ideas, create knowledge, and we're trying to bound and classify and make sense of these things. And so what we need often is a whole group of administrative staff to think about and to make sure that all of this runs effectively and efficient, efficiently. It's actually truly amazing if you stop and think about how um, effective they actually are. Despite that I like to raise some of the the issues that we might see because they're sort of eye-catching in university culture. But, um, you know, a lot of times, most universities are functioning quite well, given <laughs> quite quite well in terms of how they, um, I, sorry, I got sidetracked. Okay, they're, they're functioning quite well in terms of what is going on behind them, in terms of, you know, the bang for the buck of what they're trying to do. And ultimately, a lot of the problems that I talk about is the translation of doing things efficiently and effectively and translating that into the knowledge realm and making sense of, is this appropriate in this case? And sometimes it's not appropriate, right? So I raise those issues in terms of things like mental health, for example. Um, but other times it's an extremely appropriate way to do things as we become more efficient in society. So what are these administrative roles or what are some of these administrative roles? So on the finance side, we need a whole group of people to think about um, basically the accounting and the finance of how do you make sure that people are getting paid, that um, students are, are, are doing things that they should in terms of payments. All of that requires a great deal of people. On the marketing side, now, we forget that on the marketing side that universities actually really need to sell their ideas as an important role or important thing that they need to do is um, coming up with ways to tell other people that these ideas actually exist. It's not just the function that people dream up ideas, but you also have to tell people about these particular ideas so everybody wants to hear them. And for the most part, I don't know if you know this, nobody cares. And so you have to come up with this way to market and contact different people. Now, hopefully when you do that, then other people will pay attention to this. Now this involves sort of on getting in touch with alumni and getting in touch with, um, you know, just getting the outreach with a lot of the, a lot of these different ideas and just, you know, the infrastructure, communication infrastructure is actually quite large. Um, on the operational side, there is a ton that is going on, making sure that the buildings are actually functioning, that, um, you know, that, that essentially nothing's falling apart, that they're getting cleaning, um, you know, people are actually coming in and making sure that the doors are functioning, for example. All of that, all of this infrastructure is to make sure that essentially students can actually get a good education and researchers and educators can actually do the jobs that they should be doing. So I just want to say, 
Um, first of all, that that industry is thriving and it's not going away anytime soon. We're becoming more and more part of a knowledge economy. Maybe artificial intelligence might change that, but I don't think so. I think it's actually gonna make it more and more important to have um, education in the system. So I think some of these are gonna be more and more central. And if you find the right career in, in education, I think you can thrive because there's so many different opportunities that are there. And then on the other side, I just wanna say thank you to everybody that does these roles because it's kind of a bit of a thankless role um, in the sense that we don't see them actually doing these things. And we only see them when we're walking around, all of a sudden we bump into individuals doing these things. But there is all of these people making sure that the university functions and we just have to say thank you every once in a while that these are amazing people doing amazing things and the university, most universities would not function without it. All right, hopefully you learned something from this. Do take, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.